welcome back to my channel it's me crystal chanel and today we are going to be doing a first impression and a wear test of the new patrick ty foundation now with this foundation i did get it in two colors because i wasn't quite sure of the shade matching on sephora's site so with the foundation this is his new one that comes with the cream foundation and the powder in one it's actually called the major skin cream foundation and finishing powder duo it is 52 dollars yes $52 and the shades that I got it in was tan 1 and tan 3 now with this particular foundation if I'm looking at Sephora's um, website here let's take a look it is 32 ounces of cream and 14 ounces of powder it claims to be blendable has a satin finish and medium coverage now we're going to go ahead and open this together for the first time and see exactly which color matches me or if any of the colors match me at all. Um, this is what the packaging looks like. Very pretty packaging. Shows you the color at the top. I'm gonna open up the tan one first. I absolutely love the packaging of this overall. It's so pretty like this bronze rose gold type of color all right so here's tan one and this one is tan three all right so i am going to go ahead and swatch tan one Oh y'all. Tan one you almost can't see at all on me. Can you see that? This is tan one and this is tan three. I think that I am going to go with tan three. We'll go with tan three and we'll see how that how that works out. All right, so with the foundation, I also went ahead and got the foundation brush that comes with it as well. So we're gonna try out this foundation brush. This is the Four Face Two brush. It is double ended, so it comes with the foundation brush as well as the second side comes equipped for the powder. Here's what it looks like. Quite small. This is for your face foundation and this is for the powder. So we're going to, not very dense at all. Um, so we're gonna try it and see how this all works. Again, I'm gonna go with the tan three. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Danessa Myricks translucent balm as my primer. That has been working for me like really well. So I'm gonna stick with it. This is what that looks like. I've already done my eyebrows and my eye makeup for the day. I'm just gonna have a, just a, a neutral, simple eye look. So nothing too drastic because I wanna focus on the foundation. All right, so I'm gonna try and bring y'all in a little closer so that we can actually take a look at this foundation. So I'm gonna take the brush and get some there. Okay, so right off of the bat, the foundation feels really good going on. It feels very light. It feels so light, I almost can't feel that I'm putting anything on. So that's a good sign. And it is very blendable. It's blending very well with this brush. Yeah, I think that the uh, Tan 3 was my color. I like to go a little bit 
darker because I do go a little bit lighter under my eyes. Y'all, this is really pretty. And I'm very surprised at this brush because the brush felt like, you know, very loose fiber. So I didn't think that it was actually going to move this foundation around and blend it at all, but it's doing an amazing job at blending it. I would definitely say to get the brush with this too. Look at that. Supernatural. Now, let's see if it oxidizes because if it oxidizes, it's going to turn out being too dark on me. So let's keep our fingers crossed that this does not oxidize. So pretty. Now this was just me going around my face one time. I didn't use that much of the product. I'm gonna see just how blendable it is and do just a little bit more just to, just to see. Y'all, this foundation is so pretty. <laughs> I'm looking at it a little closer into the mirror. So we're gonna stop there. What do you all think so far? Looks pretty. Okay, I'm gonna set it, the makeup with the powder. I think that's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> And then for my eyes, under my eyes, I'm actually going to redo that and go under it with the new Laura Mercier uh, Blur Powder. I am in love with this powder, y'all. This powder is so pretty um, under the eye. And today, since I've already set this makeup with the powder, I'm gonna go in with a powder bronzer. I'm gonna be using my uh, Mario bronzer in dark. gonna go for a very natural look today. I 
I am also going to go in with a little bit of my MAC Raisin blush. And here's what the face is looking like so far before we go in with our lip color for the day. What do we think? The finish is very pretty. Um, again, the powder, I tried it under my eye, didn't like it under my eye, so I went in as a full-on setting powder with it. And then I uh, did a bronzer powder as well and a blush. So very natural looking. I am going to go ahead and put on a lipstick just to give me a pop of color for the day because I do have on some navy blue. So for my lipstick today, I am going to go with the Kylie Liquid Lipstick and I will put the color below because her colors are so small at the bottom that I can't see it. So let's go ahead and just put this on as our lip color. Now this is not the matte lip, this is the her cream lip gloss. All right, so Let's go ahead, run our errands for the day, and I'll do a check-in with you in a couple of hours and see how this is going. Right now it's 817, you can't see it, but it is 817 a.m. in the morning. We're gonna see how this looks at the end of the day. And I am also going to go ahead and set my um, makeup with finishing spray off camera and do my mascara, and we will be back. Stay tuned. Okay, so here's the makeup in natural lighting. I'm standing in front of a window right now. And what do you guys think? I think that it looks really pretty. It has a beautiful finish, a uh, satin finish as it states. And as I was mentioning earlier, the blendability with that brush made the application of this makeup so easy. So this is looking really good. Uh, let me bring you a little bit closer. Looks very pretty. So again, I'm going to go ahead. It's kind of rainy out. I'm going to see how this holds up in humidity. And let's keep our fingers crossed that this makeup does not get too oily and it does not start to melt off my face because I'm not a huge fan of cream foundations, but I have very high hopes. So let's go ahead and run those errands. All right guys, so we are back. We are at the six hour wear mark of this foundation. And I stepped outside just to show you a little bit of what it looks like. I have not blotted all day and I have not touched up anything. So this is naturally what has happened with this foundation. Um, oils have definitely set in, but they're not terrible. Uh, it looks very natural still. I have a little bit of a dewy look, but I'm not oily. So what do you all think so far i mean i think that it looks really good still uh for six hours by now i would be blotting a lot but again i did use that danessa myrick's translucent balm as my primer and that definitely works wonders for me so what are we thinking we're at the six hour mark All right, so guys, we are in for our nine hour check-in time. It has been nine hours since I've had this makeup on. And as you see, it is, it's time for it to come off. Um, it doesn't look bad, but um, it's definitely getting a little bit oily. And you know, my nose area, my forehead, as you can see there. Um, and I haven't changed my lipstick all day either. So my lipstick has been going pretty strong, but the makeup, 
overall is not really breaking up too much, but it's definitely showing tall tales that it's time for it to come off. So we wore this for nine hours today. I uh, hope you enjoyed the couple of check-ins that I gave you in the application. Please make sure that you like this video, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you all next time. Bye.